Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video like Wild Temples did uh, showing the current status of my um, account right now. So my guild hall is at level 11. I have my mana walls at 18, 19, 19. I don't care about the mana walls much because I have to care about my guild gold walls which are responsible for my guild hall. So I have all the gold walls either on the way to 20 and I have two gold walls on 20 already. So once all of them reach level 20, I will have exactly enough gold to level up my town hall to level 20. Uh, it's just basically to add extra walls. I don't know what I'm going to do with extra walls, but uh, it's kind of fun. Draw altar, which is on the level 8 to level 20. Let me just show I have my green heroes leveled up to 6 of 9. It is Dryad, Engineer. They have pretty good skills as well. I just I just want to show th uh, the heroes very fast. I don't want to make it a long video. So this is 7 of 9 which brings my um, garrison to 5 green. I'll show you the 5 green garrison later. And I have a 3 by 5 revitalized 6 of 9 Ice Demon. So I have brought my blue heroes to 6 of 9 as well, all of them. So basically it's just the skill that matters that changes the level of the guys. kind of inefficient so lucky me I got my panda was the last one to reach 6 of 9 so I got Aries just before he reached 6 of 9 so I started with Aries fresh and since 23rd and what is today uh, no date let's see it all right so within two days or so I think I got him to 117 level and 4 of 9 skill the other heroes which I have are 5 of 5 Enlightened Druid. This I got a few days before Moltanica, otherwise this 5 of 5 Enlightened will would have been on Moltanica. Alright, then because of that he's at 176 level which is quite high compared to the rest of my heroes because of the 5 of 5 Enlightened. The rest of the talents, okay I have a few other good talents but not on my main heroes. As you can see my pumpkin use is at 3 of 9 because I did not have a Cupid or Moltanica to play with at that time so I pretty much wanted to level up my pumpkin to 8 of 9 at, 9 of 9 at that time. Then since I got my Cupid I leveled him up to 7 of 9. He also has a 1 by 5 revive. My Moltanica is also at 7 of 9 with a 2 by 5 war god. And Spirit Mage as soon as I got him again as you can see 1 by 5 revive. I'm good in getting revives and that's really just 1 of 5. <laughs> Okay, I got him at 7 of 9. I really want to make him 9 by 9 and get those 10 magic balls, magic missiles of his going off. Uh, Thunder God, I want to get him to 7 of 9. I just love Thunder God, but as you can see, he also has a 2 by 5 revive. Okay, I love Thunder God, but I'm not able to bring him up because I keep having some other target in mind. I thought after garrisons, I'll go after Thunder God because I want to get the garrison, uh, purple garrison to level 4 as well. I had a plan in mind as in like I'll go for green, blue, then purple because that's the uh, way in which we can get the fastest result. So after Aries or 8 of 9 or something, I guess I'll be going after my Santa card. And I have my Immortal the 7 of 9 because I use him in Hedgebeam. He's one of my main heroes which I almost use in everywhere right now. Practically because I don't have a plan or a Santa. So I depend a lot on my more steps for the area of effect damage. I have my Grizzly at 6 of 9 for no particular reason other than the fact that he has a 5 of 5 heavy blow. He gets used in my boss battle which I, okay I stopped using him in my boss battle as well. I used to have a bigger size spend on him but I changed it according to my um, HBM strategy to put it on my CD and my model. Most of my range heroes in this game are the My 
arrived in, in Leiden then. Uh, then I have my Atlant Atlantico at 3x5 Revitalize, which is good because uh, any ranged heroes that attack him, and because of his slow attack rate, basically he becomes a powerful revive and then attacks. So his first attack is usually a proc uh, against enemies who are ranged heroes. I in the 6 of 9, I would have loved to get in the 7 of 9, 8 of 9, or 9 by 9, but shard barrier. Obviously, I don't have to have shard. I have a 2 by 5 tenacity. Oh my god, why do I keep doing that? So I have a 10, 2 by 5 tenacity just to keep him alive in the lost trim battles. I have a 3 by 5 revive on my Nobila as well, which is why he is such at a such high level, but I still don't have enough shards to level him up. I love his damage and I would love to have him at 7 of 9. But I don't know what to do. And I'm going to go 3x5 which would help me in expert dungeons. I think if I had reached 57 shard dungeon, which I have not yet, I'm still trying to clear the expert dungeon 7. So in farming the 57 shard dungeon, probably this 3x5 bite will help. And that time I need first to be a 7 9. I had rolled a 5x5 tenacity which I decided to put on my paladin which is now basically a beast paladin <laughs> paladin basically fortifies and reduces the damage taken by 70% at 5 of 9 and with the stone skin it reduces 25% damage so basically I have no idea how much minimal damage with this insanely high health hero will be taking and to top things off I added his health to 2 by 5 tenacity to make it 15% higher so in time my goal is to get this guy to 9 of 9 because this is a dream hero basically. I know the uh, I don't know I don't use him anywhere but just the thought of a 5 of 5 tenacity paladin oh my god the battery is low I guess at 5 of percent. Okay I just came through my other heroes showing them as fast as possible. I use champion basically for his boss battle. Uh, tenacity, sorry, 3 by 5 sprint, Gigi, Grizzly Reaper, I call him Gigi. I wanted to level him up and make him my main because 3 by 5 sprint was basically killer awesome in arena because he makes the Grizzly go along with the rest of the heroes. So I have a 2 by 5 enlighten on my Aries for now. I think it will remain for long because I don't roll much unless it comes later. And uh, I got this. Directly, the only 5 of 5 revitalize I have, and it's on a paladin. So basically, this is the keeper hero. I don't know. I have to get this guy to 9 of 9 as well because of his 5 type 5 talent. 4 by 5 deadly strike, which is quite amazing on a ninja because he hits still at 3 of 9 at 450 percent damage. But because of this 4 of 5 deadly strike, he has a chance of dealing 600 percent damage, six times the damage in just one hit. I would love to get this ninja up as well, but as you can see, my garrisons are blue and blue, green, purple at the moment. I cannot afford to put my ninja in there. And let me get 4 of 9, I guess, and level 117. I'd love to make another video explaining why he, the garrison logic. But for now, let me just skim through my hero slowly, showing how I had achieved. Oh yeah, I have a 2x5 light drain. Druid. I have good druids in this account. I have 3x5 revived druid. But unfortunately, I cannot make them my main heroes because of the fact that I have a 5x5 enlightened druid at 176 level. <laughs> I would have loved to change my main druid to 3x5 revive or 2x5 life drain, but that will be complete injustice for a 176 level hero. I'm basically daring to roll a high. Berserk or something to put it on my so I do have good heroes here like Ninja or 3 to 5 Sprint, over 5 Revive Paladin. I don't know why I have Paladin with so sweet balance. Then, uh, I think I have 5 to 5 Revive. Let's see this from there. I think I might have skipped through it. Alright, these are my level 1 legends. I have to level them up. So I got these rolling. Along with the I think I put that up in our other video. Okay, that's my account for now. Now, you guys, I have low batteries, so I'll be ending this video for now. Thanks for watching, and please do like and subscribe the videos.